Hey everybody, this is Ducey, and today we're going to take a look at how to prepare your game in Encounter Plus. In Encounter Plus, at least uh, at least one part of it. There's a lot more um, like map making that will get its own video, but we're going to look at the basics of getting prepared to run your game. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up this little search bar here that takes us to our library, and uh, we're going to make a campaign so that we can be kind of prepared to. Um, we're we're going to put all of our information into this campaign that we want to be able to run. So, click on campaigns. We don't have any here yet. We're going to hit the plus button to make a new campaign. And um, I'm just going to call this Dragons. And uh, we can put a description in here. Fight the dragons of the world. Can you tell I'm running Tyranny of Dragons? Okay. Cover art. I'm just going to hit browse files and grab an image and Toss in, uh, toss in some cover art here. Cool. Um, and primary, I'm going to go ahead and turn primary on, and here is why. I'm going to hit save and show you what it does. If I had multiple campaigns, now you can see the one that we've made there. If I had multiple campaigns, um, I don't want to necessarily have to go into here and click on campaigns and choose which campaign I'm in every time just to get to my basic information. So by setting that one as the primary, I can click here now on the little pen and the quill and inkwell and it will take me straight to whatever I've set my primary campaign to be so that's a little shortcut to get there quickly so that is the campaign button there cool so now we're in the campaign I'm gonna hit the three dots and edit this campaign a little more because there were a couple options that we didn't quite get to add a module if you've got any modules built out you can link them to this so modules like an adventure so maybe you have a big campaign but there's one little adventure that's going to happen in the campaign you could bring that in as a module and like link it to this campaign or maybe somebody shared uh, their encounter plus module that they made uh, you could import that into here up in up in settings here and then link the module to this campaign um, it adds it to the campaign but like if you change stuff in the module from the campaign side it changes it in the module as well um, so it's not actually making a copy it's just a link to that module and we can add players so we're going to add a player here got Thorin. Thorin is now added to this campaign. We'll hit save. So if I didn't have anybody in here, I just did a little swipe left to delete him. I can click the three dots, insert creatures, and say party from campaign. And now I just pick the campaign and all the players that I had added will be added to this uh, encounter now. So I've got a campaign. I've got a player in the campaign, but we need to add some stuff to this campaign. So I'm going to hit the plus button and uh, we can start to group things. So like I said, I'm running Tyranny of Dragons. So this could be chapter one of Tyranny of Dragons, which I know is called Greenest or, you know, whatever this is. It's just a folder. It's really all we're making here. So and I'll just just to see what it looks like. Let's just do chapter two as well. So we've got a couple folders here. So if I go into this folder, now I'm going to put everything that has to do with chapter one into here. You can organize it however you like. So I'm going to hit that plus button, and uh, that's how you do folders. Now we're going to do pages. Pages is just where you can write down information. So I'm going to call this intro uh, for chapter one. I can type away. Stuff happens. It'll be cool. Now, I've got some formatting options down here. Uh, if I hit uh, this button, it will kind of show me the code. So there's some... Uh, there's some formatting. You can get real specific with the formatting with the code there if you want, but I am just going to use the basics here. So it'll be cool, bold. You know how that stuff works if you've done it in, <clears throat> if you've done it in anything else. Now I'm going to hit the plus button here and I can add a photo as well. I'm just going to reuse that same photo, but I can add that photo in here in this page in addition to all the text of what's going on. Cool. So now there's a page and if I click on it, I get my text and the photo and if I click on the photo and if I got the uh, the second screen purchased or or I'm a subscriber one or the other I can click this button and it'll show that photo on the second screen now I'm gonna close that photo now I've got this page here if uh, we're not getting deep into the mapping yet but if I've got a map here and I want to remember what's going on with this page I can drag it from there It'll automatically create a marker. We'll look at marker details more later, but just know you can hit save. And this basically creates a shortcut 
to that information on the map. So you could say, there's a trap here, or read this read aloud text, or whatever it is that you want. And if you click it a second time, you see you can delete, edit, copy. Cool. So that's making a page. Now, let's make an encounter. An encounter I probably should have started with because it's what most of, you, most of you guys are gonna be doing most often. There's a lot of ways to make an encounter, but I'm gonna show you what my favorite is first. I like to start with the creatures. So insert a creature, monster NPC. You saw this in the first video. Let's get, you know what, I'm going goblins. We did kobolds already, it's goblin time. One, two, three, four, five goblins. Cool, and now I can place them wherever I want on the map. And by doing it this way first, the placement saves. That's why I like to do it this way first. We've got them placed, we wanna save that. We hit this and we save this encounter that we've made. We're gonna call this Goblin Ambush as if we were running uh, Lost Minds of Fandelver. Okay, not Goblin, Goblin. Cool, and then it's gonna save it in the Dragons campaign and it's gonna save it in chapter one because that's the last place we kind of did a thing here. So it did remember that, but you could always put it, if this was chapter two, you could put it in chapter two, wherever you need it. I'll hit save, counter saved. There it is, there's the Goblin Ambush. So now even if I reset the encounter, when it's time to uh, play, and we're actually all sitting down or on the computer starting to play, we hit Goblin Ambush, load, bam, there it is. Now, we don't have a map loaded in here, but if we did, we might wanna make a marker for this ambush, just like we did for the intro text. So I can just drag it in, there's my marker, save. And this is great if you've got a dungeon with a bunch of rooms, you just make a different encounter for every room and you drag a marker into every room so you can click the marker, quickly see what's gonna be in there. If I had put text in, I should have put some text in, so I'm gonna to swipe to the left, hit edit, and say, the ambush, DC, uh, 15 to notice and not be surprised. All right, let's save. And now when they get into this area, I click it. There's the text to help me remember what's happening. And I can click this button and hit load. There we go. Now we've loaded that in. So that's how you can make pages and that's how you can make encounters. You can reset them. Now here's a, here's a little tricky bit. If I load in this encounter again, actually, I'm gonna very quickly make a new encounter. I'm gonna make this other encounter kind of the manual way. So I can hit the plus button, make an encounter. I can put in the name, uh, Kobold Ambush. Yep, again. And I can add combatants this way too. Kobold, one, two, three, four, five, save. So now I don't have a pin and I don't have placement, but I do have the kobold ambush here. If I load it, you see that the other one disappears and the five kobolds just load right on top of each other right there. So I've got the kobolds loaded. Well, if I load in the galvan ambush, let me deselect it so I can click on it again. You'll see that the kobolds all disappeared. This is because I'm not in combat. If I'm in the middle of the goblin ambush and the kobold ambush, ambush also happens, I start combat, sure, we'll roll initiative. Then I load in the kobold ambush, and because I'm in combat and initiative is going, they now load in simultaneously instead of replacing one, in, one another. And I could stop and start if I wanted to roll initiative for everybody, and it saves all of the previous initiatives. Cool. Now, if I was... If I said, you know what, I really just want these to happen both at the same time, I can go save this encounter too, right? Double ambush. Okay, and now I've got one that's saved with all of those guys in it. So, that's the basics to making pages and to creating encounters ahead of time so that you can start getting your information about the game that you're gonna run into Encounter Plus instead of having to run it on the fly. I hope that's helpful. Have fun killing goblins and kobolds.